Good morning, ning, 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 ning. y'all. I hope the quality of this cam. What the hell? Oh, my coffee maker. I hope the quality of my camera is better. I have no idea what I what happened, but my settings had changed yet again recently. So I went ahead and switched it up. Um, what's going on? So we have a lot going on in the next two weeks. Like we literally have six events going on. And um, today is Thursday. Tomorrow we have the fair, the I should say the fall carnival at JP school. I'll take y'all along with me there. He decided he didn't want to do the trick or treat crawl in our neighborhood. So I said, okay, cause I know he would be tired because the carnival starts at five. Um, they do have an early release today at school and tomorrow. Then Saturday I have lunch with Miss Delightful. She's another YouTuber and her sister. Um, Sunday we have a birthday party. So we have a lot going on next week. Um, I have an anniversary party I'm going to, excited about that, and we have a Halloween bash, and then there's something else going on. Oh yeah, another outdoor Halloween festival, so we have a lot going on. This is what I like to do for my family during the fall season. I know not everyone celebrates all the holidays, but I like the festival of it, you know what I mean? The festive, festivities, is that a word? festive whatever girl so <laughs> um however i could feel my anxiety coming up and i've been very short with jb like everything he's been doing has been i've been really short with him i've been short with my husband so i need to it's it's not them it's me yes jb is acting out but I'm the adult. I should be able to respond appropriately. So I need to get back on my medication. That just is what it is. I am on Barisponi, which is used for allergies, but, they, but it also can be dual usage for anxiety. It takes about one to two weeks to get in and you have to take it consistently. It's not like Xanax or something else to where it's habit forming and um, something like Xanax, it uh, can control your anxiety right then and there. Their spawning takes a while for your system to get used to it. So I started back on it yesterday. I'm just going to take it every day so I won't be this way, you know. So mental health is really important, especially during the holidays. I will also add a young lady to ask me how I create my stickers. I will be doing a video on that because, girl, the hell? This coffee maker is out of control. I have a binder full of stickers they didn't take long at all however i've been printing mines out and i'm not using them to uh sell on etsy or anything like, like that it's for personal usage so staples oh so i'm not using it to sell i'm not you know putting it all on social media for people to look at it's for personal usage and so um, yeah, I'll do a little quick, because I know not everyone's into that. I'll do a little quick three to four minute video, video on how I create my stickers for my planner. And yes, I went to, do to the Dollar Tree yesterday, got a binder, got some of those. I'll show you what that looks like of stickers, and I'm good. I would say so far I have spent, including printing though, I bought $20, $25 on stickers. Um, but those stickers will last me for a good year. Yes, I have a lot of them. I also purchased some stickers from um, an Etsy shop. One of them, they're so cute. They're for a wash day. And another one were camera stickers. I think I can recreate the wash day, but I purposely wanted to see those stickers so I could see how I could recreate them. Again, not selling them. They're going to be for my own. But um, anyway, yeah, a lot going on. There was something I want to tell y'all about. I need to go get a sip of this coffee. Um... What's I gonna talk to y'all about? I cannot remember. I was kind of laughing at some of the comments I got on my chit chat video, um, especially for those of you who are not in the US about how cold it is. I don't think 65 degrees is cold. And honestly, US as a whole, in my state, that's definitely not cold. US as a whole right now, most of the state is at 50, 55 and under. Yeah, 55, and that's really not cold. Um, I live in the desert, and when in the desert, we get cool mornings, cool nights, but most of the day, 
Most of the day is not 65. Most of the day is 75. Today is gonna be like 81. Yeah, so we got cool mornings, cool nights, and the days are 80s, yeah. Um, but to, cause the Grand Canyon is where I, is where I, you know, the state I'm in, the Grand Canyon, those of you familiar, I hope you're familiar with that. <laughs> you may not be if you're not from here, I shouldn't say that. Um, Northern Arizona, which is where it's really cool at, we went up there once, it was 19 degrees. That is negative six Celsius. Is that how you say it? But it, it gets even colder than that. I know some people who lived in areas like North Dakota, um, even in Canada, it gets really cold. <laughs> but it gets negative. One of my coworkers told me that when she was growing up in North Dakota, it was negative 30. I'm like, why? When it's that cold and you're not inside, you will die. She told me a story of two um, classmates of hers that died in, in their vehicle stranded um, because they, they basically froze to their hypothermia. Um, very, you know, unfortunate. Let me know how y'all feel about this. So YouTube has this new tool called Premieres and I saw it yesterday when I was uploading my video. And so I watch a couple of videos on what it's about. So basically what it is, it's almost like a movie premiere. You know how sometimes uh, certain movies will have a premiere, it'll premiere a couple of, you know, uh, weeks before it actually is public, made out to the public. So with a premiere, as a YouTuber, I can either premiere a video right away or premiere it, schedule it, I should say. Um, and it's almost like you watch it live. So people can come on, they can watch it all together. There's a countdown before it starts, excuse me, there's a countdown before it starts showing a YouTube trailer and then it premieres. Countdowns, five, 10, well, girl, you can't even count. Five, four, three, two, one. Here's the premiere of Annette Mint's Wash and Go. That's a fail again. <laughs> there's a live chat there. As a content creator, I can sit there and watch it with you guys live. Um, you have to watch it from beginning to end. You can't fast forward it. You guys can comment on it. I can interact with people, but there's a couple of things that I'm like side eyeing. I know it's all for money and oh yes, the YouTubers who are here, if this is their livelihood and this is why they make a living, I can see how they make a benefit. This is a hobby for me. So yes, I don't mind interacting with you guys. Let me just get to the point. Super chat. <laughs> Super chat. This is one of the, yeah, it's, it has super chat capabilities due to the live feed and all that. Excuse me, the live chat. And so it's just another way for people to make money. It really is. Now, like I said, while it's pr premiered, you have to watch it from, you don't have to, you can get out of uh, the video, but you can't fast forward it. And for me personally, I like to fast forward through videos. You can go back. Um, and then once it's done, it's public, it's made public. Now, let me back up. When you premiere it or schedule it to be premiered, people can look and see that, oh, okay, Vivian has a, a video coming up in two more days. They can comment and say, oh, I can't wait to see your wash and go. It's gonna be another fail. Why are you torturing your ass with that again? You know, you can comment on what's to come, but you can't see it. I don't even know if I like that. <laughs> I can see how some people will see it. I can see how some folks will look at the benefit of it. But for me personally, since like I said, this is a hobby for me, even though I'm not uploading, you know, two to three times a week. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe something like, I can, okay, so this is where I can see it from, because this would be cute. Maybe something like when JB opens up his Christmas presents. Oh, this age is so cute, y'all. When JB opens up his Christmas presents, then maybe I could premiere that and we could sit down and watch it. You know, we drink our coffee and, you know, we could watch that together as a family. Maybe that, but just my regular old videos, no. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. What the hell? What are these birds doing? Y'all, birds are extremely intelligent. One one afternoon when I had nothing else to do, my ass must have watched a good 30 minutes of... Child, what is this bird doing? But anyway, y'all, yeah, uh, one time in my YouTube, down that rabbit hole, 
um, I watched a video, videos for about 30 minutes on birds using tools. You can teach birds different things. They're very smart creatures, actually. Um, anyway, y'all, what is going on? It's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. I got an email from Papa Do's. I don't know why, but my husband does not like Papa Do's. I shouldn't say that. Um, the Papa Do's out here is not as good as the ones in Texas. And uh, while we were there, we noticed a lot of Papa Do's had popped up. So anyway, what am I talking about that for, girl? <laughs> I told y'all, my mind. It's Friday. Um, I've been very productive this week. There's some couple of things I had to push off, but overall it's been uh, very productive because I've been working with limited time. I'm going to show you guys later on today how I, because uh, I think it could be helpful for some people how I um, basically plan out my weeks, my month. And there's a couple of things I've been doing new thank to, thanks to Alexis. She's in her trench coat. Uh, she is a fellow YouTuber who does content on productivity, goal planning. I absolutely love her videos. And I've been following her for a while, but I'm just not really getting into her. Um, I've been a type of person that's always been a planner. I mean, my mama told me that she found to-do lists of mine from when I was in high school. I've always been a to-do list type of person. I've always been a goal-oriented type of person. But I've always measured my goals by age. Um, and if I, didn't, if I didn't accomplish something that year, that quarter, whatever, I would definitely move it on to the next year. I will honestly have to say that within the, five, the, the past five years, I have accomplished so much and I'm very grateful for it. A lot of that has to do with me releasing um, a lot of the strongholds I had, um, allowing myself to fully trust in um, the most high, okay, whatever you believe in. But for me personally, that's what has really helped me. And ultimately, you know, just deciding that I don't have all the answers, I don't know it all. I'm a very type A type of person and if things don't follow the plan, for me in the past, I would have been like, oh hell, that's it, you know, but Right now, it's like I don't have to have all the answers, okay? That's where I'm at right now in my life. Um, I'm trying to get out of this stuck phase, but there may be a reason why I'm in this stuck phase. This is where I'm at right now, okay? So there may be a reason why I'm feeling stuck, and I'm still in the mornings. I'm still trying to sit in silence. It may not be every day, but today I couldn't do it because I had some stuff I had to do. But tomorrow morning, I would definitely take the time to be in silence, uh, take the time to meditate. I'm making time to I'm ensuring that I'm getting enough sleep and When I have any time available, I do something look I am taking advantage of my time I have that is something I, I definitely have been working on for the past few months Anytime I have if I could do it like what Alexis say if you have two minutes if you could do something in another two minutes And you need to get it done do it and so I've been following that motto You know if anything that needs to be done if I need to send a quick email real quick a, a quick text message to someone I do it so that way that's another item on my to-do list that's check off So yeah, I'll show you guys how I've been doing it to get you know to stay on track and to get as much done as I can in my work week because those of you who don't know, I still run JB's YouTube channel, which is not a lot, but I'm posting on his channel monthly. I'm trying to do weekly, but monthly. So running two YouTube channels, a blog, I work from home, and I'm trying to homeschool, at least do supplemental homeschooling. I'm still doing that. Girl, so it's a lot of work. Oh, and, and I'm a wife. You know, I have to, you know, twerk for my husband every now and then. That's a lot of damn work. <laughs> Being married is hard. Speaking of, you guys, I've been the past, I'm going to try hard not to cry. Hold on, let me get myself together. This is not being me being dramatic. It's just, with me personally, emotions can hit me hard because I'm a very sensitive person. When someone close to me goes through something, as I'm sure some of you are like this, when someone very close to me goes through something, it really hurts me. I mean, I feel that person's pain. I feel that... I'm sensitive to that, y'all. I'm not gonna go into any detail because I want to respect her privacy. It is so hard being in a relationship, right? It is very difficult. Um, I know a lot of people say, well, they can't find a good man. There are people out there, there are, I think there's someone out there for everyone. I know this is so cliche. And I also think that there are, I do believe in soulmates. 
yes plural i don't believe <laughs> i know y'all thinking girl what i do believe in multiple people possibly being soul mates for you that's how i that's how i think you know um but with that being said once you have decided to become one it can be very challenging because when you first meet someone and when you are first in a relationship, it's almost a honeymoon season. I would say even for the first two or three years, it's this honeymoon season. You're, it's exciting. You know, there's this um, fire that you have. And then it's like, okay, now we marry. We with each other. So um, one of the things I really have had to treat our relationship is first of all, before we even decided to get married, we wrote out what was expected of the other person. Now, yeah, sometimes things slack off um, and it is what it is. And, and we promise each other that we will make time for each other, that we will continue to date each other, learn from each other, and that we will put each other first over everything. Each other. I will, we will put each other first over any and everything. What does that mean, Vivian? And now it doesn't mean that. Let me let me say this. It doesn't mean mean that I neglect other parts of my life or other people, but I still put the needs um, and, the, and the desires of my husband over anything else. Not not over mine, but <laughs> and that we also we agree to disagree on certain things we don't have to agree on everything um so it's a very selfless act to be this way um there are so many things that i do for my husband that i don't want now that's it i'm rambling the next time you see us we'll be at the outdoor festival yes i'm gonna be filming there and then tomorrow I get to go hang out with my girl, Miss Rhonda, her crazy ass sister. Lord have mercy, y'all. <laughs> um, but look, real quick, there's a girl who goes to this gym, and I'm a type of woman. When I see a beautiful woman, I, I compliment women. I have no problem complimenting other women. So there is this woman I saw. Oh, y'all, sorry. There's this woman I saw a couple of months ago. Nice body. Very steer it. I saw so there was a woman a couple a couple of months ago I saw nice body curvy not too skinny you know um she had an hourglass figure now I know some of you help us think you got an hourglass figure you don't I think the stats are like 70% of us are straight you may be curvy but you have a ruler or straight you know um body type she has an hourglass figure. I mean, she was wearing, uh, what do you call this? A, a workout jacket and her body, you could still see body. I'm like, oh yeah, she's giving me body. She's definitely hourglass. So anyway, um, I've seen her a few times and I'm looking at her, I'm like, I bet she ain't got no kids. She, she, you know, this is what, this is her life. She doesn't drink no Starbucks, you know? I'm like, oh Lord. So why did I see her? This was like a couple of months ago, right? A couple of months ago. Why did I see her when the school first started at JV school back in August? Girl, she opened up a van. Oh, yeah. she. So, I know this is about to be some foolery, right? She came out of, up out of a van with three kids. I said, you know what? And the youngest one is just not walking. So, I saw her just now because um, she finally introduced herself. Because, yeah, I don't care what you say. I am an introvert. I don't make eye contact with people. I'm on my phone most of the time. I'm talking to no one who's there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to Google Play because I don't know. I don't want anyone talking to me. Um, a lot of the moms get together and they, they, you know, they huddle and whatever they do. Now, I will speak to some moms one and off, but just to go up to someone having a conversation, that's not me. Um, so as, as we were walking out, she turned around. She's like, I'm, I'm so-and-so, by the way. She introduced herself. I'm like, okay. Hi, I'm Vivian. Uh, but I said, you know what? see you at the gym and I have to say you have a great figure what are you doing knowing damn well I'm not gonna so she started you know she said thank you and um she said that you know she does a lot of weights she does a lot of weights and she does a little cardio she said she goes to the gym three to four times a week but she said it's her diet which I knew just looking at her body I knew her body and her skin her teeth perfect <laughs> 
it's her diet. She said that she eats 80% good. Um, she's a vegetarian, but she's not a new vegetarian. She's only been doing it for a year or so. Um, and she eats mm, a lot of vegetables. A lot of vegetables, a little fruit, because fruit is sugar, but she eats a lot of veggies. I'm like, okay, that's good. And I'm thinking about the damn egos I'm going to eat after my work. <laughs> I'm up here four to five days out of the week because it's your diet. And I, and I knew that. I knew she was going to tell me that. Something I didn't want to hear. I don't even know why I asked. But yeah, let me go up in here then, y'all. Make a change. Oh, so there is a brunch tomorrow that I won't be going to because I'm going to be meeting up with Mr. Lightful. Mr. Lightful. Juicy. I use kinky tresses to set my hair. I don't think I'm gonna unravel a lot cause, cause of my volume, I really don't have to. Yeah. This is old blown out here, by the way. The baby's tired, but he gonna wake up, right boo boo? I'll do anything to help my friends. She'll do anything to help my friends. Anything to help my friends. Anything to help my friends. back home look i am tired we've been out for three hours come on we've been out and like until night but it's spider time so did you have a good time sweetheart spider. Come here. give me sugar did you have a good time huh yeah yeah he's all stuffy mm. so we went to the so I, uh -oh. so I got so I went to school, mm -hmm. and I went to I went to the gym at school, and recently me got mixed up, mixed up in first grade. First grade. In got, the morning time or when? When you just what? When you just walked me in. Recent me got mixed up, and we saw a bendy backpack. 
Yes. So how did you have fun? Did you have fun at the park? I mean, at the fair? Did you like Yeah, that? and we went to the fair. What was your we favorite We went part? to the Jarega Tree. Eat, and we went to Internet. What was your favorite part of the outdoor fair? Um, uh, Look at all this hair, girl. It's covering fair. JB up. The fair. The favorite part of the fair was the fair? Yeah. You know what? Actually, it was the uh, candy crawl. Candy crawl. So you guys, for Halloween, and I did a... Oh my God, somebody's cooking bacon. Look, I haven't cooked bacon in my house in years because my husband doesn't eat pork. Oh, abomination. <laughs> Isn't this cute? All right, and then we have... No, baby, no. We have this spider web here. No, sweetheart. Oh, hey you guys, this is a request showing you how I make my own stickers. I found that PowerPoint is very flexible, so what you want to do is just bring up PowerPoint and um, here are some of the decorative stickers. These are just clip arts that I found and I have several different types of themes. We have Christmas here, um, natural hair, we have beauty. So now I'm going to show you how I actually create, I guess you would call them the functional or productive stickers. And I found that the rounded rectangles works best for me. Um, I use these for appointment reminders, doctor visits, volunteer meetings, etc. So you just go to shapes and insert. Um, depending on your application, whatever you use, I'm on a Mac by the way, just showing you all the different types of shapes. You have circles, you have ovals, you have arrows, you have down arrows, so you can get very creative, you know. Um, and there are tons of videos on how to create your own stickers for your planners. I'm not an expert. I use, I typically just started, um, excuse me, I just started recently doing this. So, yes, not an expert. You have to excuse my voice to you guys. I am a little sick right now. Um, so now I'm just going to show you how I change the fill color, okay? I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Now all I'm doing is changing the fill color, but like I said, you could get very creative. I'm showing you right now how you can actually change up the pattern. But I will say, depending on the type of pattern you use, it's really difficult to read the text. So you want to be careful here. Um, you can also change the outline colors. You know, you could get very creative, like I said it before. Um, so I'm gonna start entering some text. I think for this one, I'm gonna I'm going to do do today. Um, I may get questions. How did I determine what size? would I need for my actual planner itself because I'm using a fairly small planner planner excuse me looking at other videos on how other people created um, their own stickers I noticed that they were using between a 16 to 22 font size so I made the majority of my fonts a size of 16 between 18 and it works perfectly well I can read them if you need it larger you can do so um, so I'm just going to continue here creating these stickers and um, I have my local staples to print them out because I want to have a very good quality <laughs> um, when I print it and when I'm done I'm going to save it as a PDF. It just makes it easier for printing also. Um, I do have my own sticker paper that I've just had always but you could purchase sticker paper from just about anywhere. Um, they sell it at Walmart, Staples, 
um and then yeah i'm just going to continue i have here do today stickers and you're going to see me here just um change up the font color itself because you want to be able to read it right so i'm going to make this color a little bit lighter um so that it could be uh you could read it easily or i could read it easily so yeah you guys so i'm going to continue to create stickers and i hope you guys enjoy this video using your stickers for personal usage don't be afraid to just look up clip art you can use as stickers themselves so I'm looking for something for a dentist appointment so some of these look a little silly you know so I'm gonna find one here on the left hand side I'm gonna select this one want to ensure that it's a transparent background just in case I want to include this actual image on a sticker itself I'm gonna show you what that looks like here in a second Again, adjusting the size so it's not too big. And I mostly use these stickers throughout the week for my weekly view and not necessarily for the calendar view. Um, the vertical, excuse me, the, the long stickers, I should say, the productive stickers here. As you can see, I'm going to put this clipboard right there. I will use this sticker on my month view, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid to just search for different type of images through Google, and there's tons of stuff there. Now, next up, I'm going to include some images, excuse me, um, clips from other YouTubers who have showed how you can actually cut your stickers, because you got to cut it a, a certain type of way, right? So there's the guy roll tool. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I purchased it through Amazon. And there's also a, um, I guess, a craft knife you can use. And I'm going to link both of these YouTubers' videos below because this really helped me. And I have both of these type of craft cutting tools, I guess you could say. And they both work. They both have their advantages, I should also mention. So, um, okay, you guys. So I'm just going to show you guys how I basically plan out some things. And I was doing this before I got these sheets, these working sheets from Alexa. She's in her trench coat. It is the charmshop.com. I downloaded these sheets for free. She has brain dump, uh, planner sheets, etc. So what I do is I make a list of things that I would like to do for the next year, few years or so. I just write a list, a whole list down, but I like her sheets because she has them a little bit more organized. So this is called the brain dump. So um, just a bunch of ideas I have lifted down. Then from my brain dump is what I use to create my goals, okay? I still have some goals from 2018 that are gonna bleed into 2019. My goals is more of a five-year plan, okay? Then from those goals, you create midterm goals, which I haven't done here. And then you create short-term goals and you use those goals to then create tasks all right um let's say one of the tasks was i just had one right now was to create planner stickers okay so as a project plan i have create planner stickers and then i have my mini task here i write everything out all right then from there you can create a monthly task like list i have one for october i've already started one for november and december then this is where your planner comes into um, into play. For me personally, I limit my task list to three tasks per day, um, but sometimes it can get a little bit more a little bit more crazy. As you see here, I have four tasks here, but most of the times I only do three. You see, that's three. I have two here, two there. Look, I just schedule everything out. You have seven days, seven days to schedule everything out. So this is this coming week, but let me show you what last week was. 
yeah you see a lot of things were moved around when i once i accomplished something i do a check mark if it didn't occur i scratched it out meaning that was canceled that's how i work okay a little bit of stickers here but not a lot um and yeah yeah last week was crazy this is the week before <laughs> So yeah, this is this coming week. I've already have it all planned out. And I'm gonna review everything, though, especially the first beginning of the week to make sure that everything is going okay. And that's how I, you know, schedule. Again, taking my task from October, check marks, the ones that have already been accomplished. So I only have, just looking at it, let me count uh, one, two, I don't wanna, I don't wanna zoom in on everything, so yeah, I don't, I don't want y'all all up in business. So let's see, one, two, three, four five five i only have five tasks less left to complete and you know we're almost done with october it's technically the last week coming up so I, i'm doing good i'm on track i'm okay um in november excuse me swallowing hard november this is what november is looking like already getting filled up okay but <clears throat> this is what the first week looked like so far so good okay so that's how i stay um, organize, at least try to. This is my 2019. I've already gone in and started scheduling, since I have a child, scheduling JB days off, his um, breaks and all that. You know, since I already have his school calendar, this is what I do to, yeah, try to stay ahead of the game at least. So yes, it is Sunday morning and that is it for this vlog. I may show clips of the birthday party we're going to, um, but I'm not feeling too well. My throat was burning last night. And I was coughing very loud. JB was coughing, cough has been coughing. It's the weather change, but my throat was on fire. So one of the things I do- Your throat was on fire. Mm -hmm, and it's still burning. Girl, I, I brought it out. <laughs> Ooh, you stink. I bought the apple cider vinegar, vinegar, I bought out the sea salt, um, peppermint essential oil, <coughs> excuse me. I have my essential oil diffuser over here going. You probably can't see it, you know, you can't see that. Um, and then I make ginger tea, ginger, tons of lemons, raw, raw honey, and I would literally drink that for the next 24 hours. We are gonna go to the store, boo boo. I think we're gonna go to the store. I'm gonna go to I, the store. I actually wrote Lego. Okay, baby. And these I'm not Lego. feeling good. I'm gonna go to the store, get some bones to make some bone broth. Um, yeah. Can I get it? You get whatever you want if you leave me alone. Get some bone broth. Get, yes, can, yes, yes, yes. A donut? Yes to your will. Yes. What's that noise? It's raining this morning. It was hailing. <coughs> and, and that woke me up. And my clock. <sighs> Turn green. JB has been up for since 4.30. I am tired. I am tired. I am done. Me too. So we have a birthday party we're going to go to later on. But until then, I'm going to relax. I'm just going to sit down <gasps> and relax because I'm tired. I'm not going to do anything. Like I was going to clean today. Canceled. There's birthday party, JB. If it's outdoors, we're only going to be there for an hour. We can't be there all day because we both don't feel well. Okay? All right. So y'all, the last time, hold on, let me close the oven. The last time I tried Jiffy Cake Mix, it was very dry, very dry, not flavorful at all. I found those two boxes on clearance. I forgot where from. So what I did, as you saw there, I added half a package of pudding. I also added some sour cream, one tablespoon of vanilla. Now the pudding and sour cream is gonna make the cake fluffy. I added two eggs and one egg white. Again, the egg white is going to add some fluffiness to it. These are nine inch pans, by the way. Um, I got these from the Goodwill a while back. Um, so I'm going to bake these at 375 for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to ice them with chocolate. So this is going to be a classic yellow cake with chocolate icing. Yes. Um, so I'm hoping it'll turn out okay. The Jiffy cake mix, I can't even remember if it was sweet or not. It was just very bland. That's what I will, I remembered. So we'll see how this turns out. All right, y'all, the cake is done. I don't know how long it took. I can tell when the cake is done just by smelling it and the color. So I just cut a little bit out. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It has not cooled off, but can you see? Let's let it zoom in. How moist that is and how spongy. This cake is typically not like this. So this is due to the extra egg white, 
the sour cream and the pudding. Now let's just taste it. Look how spongy that is. Very, very nice. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, this is not too sweet. This is just right. Just, just, just right. To me, this density and the fluffiness of this is better than a Duncan Hines. Mm-hmm. Yeah.